So right now, when we talk about cloning website, I have always said this, and I will say this again for the record purpose, that we clone fronted resources of a website when we try to clone. We don't clone the back-end resources because that back-end resources are secured by a database. That database, we can't have access to it. Now that I've laid this bare, there are some websites that they are dynamic that they show you results in front end from a database on the back end. The typical example of such kind of website is an e-commerce website. So a typical e-commerce website would display pictures. They are not just pictures, they are images of a product and also display the pricing. Those front end information are processed by an e-commerce solution that is protected by a database and the back end of the website. So if we clone the front end of that website, we will need to clone or design another back end. I will not start uh, connecting back end to front end is a lot of work, generally for all the products. So when client reaches out to me to help them clone uh, an e-commerce website, just tell them the best thing is to design a lookalike. So let's design something entirely new from you that look exactly just like this. Now, this is the question. Does it mean that I cannot clone the backend of a website? To a certain extent, that's true. You cannot clone the backend of any random website that you don't have access to. Like I said earlier, it is literally impossible. However, you can clone inner pages of a website, uh, backend of a website that you have access to. That's very, very, very possible. So, for example, on my screen right now is YouTube.com. YouTube.com is generally uh, accessible. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I think we should work with inner pages, uh, pages that are not publicly available. Uh, maybe YouTube Studio, for example, uh, might suffice for this tutorial. So, let me just come to uh, YouTube, YouTube Studio here. Definitely, this is the back end of a YouTube account. No one can have access to this unless you sign in and then you have private access. So let's say, for example, we want to clone this YouTube studio right now. This is just a random YouTube channel, nothing much more here. So if you want to clone pages like this, back end like this, and you want to display them on your WordPress website. So let me show you how that is done. There are several ways uh, this can be done. This is just method one. I think after this tutorial, I should do another method, which is method two. Uh, so you can check out for that. For this tutorial, I want us to use Figma to clone this, and then we can migrate from Figma to whatever website you want to use, WordPress. If you've not used Figma before, you're using Figma for the very first time, Figma is a UI UX platform where you can design, you can make designs, you can design wireframes of website, you can design even your website. It's a fantastic platform. If you are familiar with Figma, you already know exactly what I'm talking about. So you can just go to Figma.com to create a free account. I have an account on Figma here, and this is Figma here. Uh, for us to be able to clone uh, our YouTube Studio to Figma, we will need the help of a plugin. Uh, so I can just come here to my resources. I can come to plugins here. I don't have that plugin here, so let me just come back here. And let me come to my plugins here. So I have my recent plugin here called HTML to design. If you've not used this plugin before, you can just search for the plugin and then run the plugin. It's a free plugin, however, it has pro version. I'm using the pro version. Pro version gives you more functionality, but the free is good for these tutorials. Ideally, to this plugin would literally help you clone any website at all into Figma Design. I have done lots of tutorials around this plugin, so you may want to check out for that. It's a fantastic, fantastic plugin. If you're using Figma, you want to consider using this plugin. So what we would do here is just to paste the URL here. As you can see here, you can see that I have apple.com here and then I can hit the import button and then it will clone that landing page here into Figma design, just as simple as that. But because what we want to do, because the page we want to clone right now is not publicly available, it's an inner page, it's a backend page, I would be using your Chrome extension. So here on this plugin, if you scroll down here, you will see a place here, import via Chrome extension. So if you click this, it will download this Chrome extension and then you can install this Chrome extension in your browser. So if you install the Chrome extension, you should have 
an interface like this. So you can see this is the same thing as this design here. So this is HTML to design ready for us to use here uh, in our Chrome browser. So you want to do that. And right now, since we have that, we'll come back to our WordPress, sorry, to YouTube Studio here. And then we can then use this plugin here to clone this page. So you can see here, this plugin, we sneak this page for us. And the good thing about this is that we have different view content that we can copy from a desktop version, to laptop, to maybe tablet, to tablet. You have everything here at your disposal. That means that you can clone different variation of this page or of this backend or inner page or whatever you want to do in your own case. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I will leave this as just uh, 1920 pixels, which is the desktop version. But the good thing if you are using the pro version is that you can change this to any random viewpoint you want. In case it is 2000, 20,000, 30,000, you can adjust that here. And then I'll just hit this button here for it to clone this page. Good stuff. So we can see that that is done right now. And we have this here right now downloaded into our browser as a .h2d file. That's everything we need. So we can come back to Figma right now. And you can see we can drop that file here. So I'll just come to my download. And I will just drag this file here. And we will have this prompt here, which is something very, very good. So you can see that we have option here for auto layout. We have option here for hyperlinks. Auto layout is very, very important if we want to have a responsive page. I want to easily bring our Figma design to our website, WordPress, for these tutorials. And also, hyperlinks is good so that it retains all the links on the page that we are bringing in. In case you don't want to have the links, you can just toggle off these hyperlinks. And then maybe you can add your own manual link if that's what you want to do. That's good. And then I can just hit the import button. So we have another prompt here that says that they are missing front. So we can see here that YouTube is using a custom front here called YouTube Sans Light, and that is not available. So you can down if you want to have that front, you can download that missing front here and then install it into your computer and then Figma have access to that. So you can see here, you can you can download this form by clicking this button here and you can see a tutorial here for you to see how to install this into your computer. Uh, whether or not you're using Mac or you're using Windows, you'll find tutorials to do that. And that's very, very good. But for the purpose of this example, it can be replaced here with Roboto. Uh, so we'll leave that as is. And then I'll just hit the apply button. Good. This is done here. So we can close this plugin. Just like that, as you can see on the screen now, I now have my YouTube studio embedded in this Figma project. And I think this is fantastic. So this is good. You can come down here so you can see uh, all these things still carry the links. Like I told you, the iPad links are still there. You can make edits to this in Figma if you want to do. Since we are looking just at cloning this right now, I will show you exactly how we can export this figma project to a wordpress website super simple and easy so right now this frame here i might just uh this name is too long i might just want to change this let me just call this youtube right hit the enter button so this is cool for us to be able to clone this to wordpress we would need the help of another plugin and that plugin is called ui chemi so right now let's go into our resources here and then i have ui chemi here if I want to check out for those tutorials on my YouTube page, uh, you can see I have two UI chemists here. One will literally help you clone your website to Elementor. Another one will help you clone it to Bricks. All our uh, WordPress, whatever is convenient for you. But I will run the first one here. I want to believe that would run these two Elementor. So yes, Elementor is good here. When you launch it, it might ask you for a secret key. And if you click that, get a a license key it will take you to the page where you can get a free license uh however you might also want to consider their pro version they have they currently have a lifetime any bed offer going on and that's a fantastic thing you can check the video description for you to see a link to getting that offer it's fantastic i have gotten that offer so i can literally use this for a lifetime without any restriction 
UICAM is a powerful resource tool. Uh, you would see that as we will continue this tutorial. So right now, I will just want to clone this. So you can see we have the preview of what this will look like here. I can just hit this button here, clone to Elementor. For you to be able to have a perfect conversion, some things are very, very important. So if you come here, you see it says that uh, you should have auto layout like I mentioned earlier. And thank God that plugin is able to design and been able to help us do that. Uh, remove unused frames and then you want to check Figma guidelines, which is very, very important. And also you must have Elementor activated. Definitely, yes. And the next thing here says Flexbox container needs to be turned on. By default right now, automatically Flexbox container is turned on for every Elementor user. So if you are one of those who don't really like Flexbox and you've turned that off manually yourself, you want to go back to turn that on. If not, this would not work. Uh, so that's one of the very, very good things you want to do. And you must also have maybe a sufficient PHP execution. So you want to be using good server resource. Don't be using any maybe free hosting resources. This may not be good enough to import the page into your Elementor WordPress website. So after you've read this, you need to accept terms and conditions here and hit this convert to Elementor button and immediately this is converted to a JSON file here that you can just download into your computer. As you can see in my case here, it is now downloaded as YouTube JSON. And now we can then go back to our WordPress website. So I'll be using tabsbook.com here. So this is what the WordPress website look like here for this demonstration purpose. So I have a test page here designed here. So I would just want to import that JSON file here by coming to our template. So I click the template here. And then I will come to my upload, but upload uh, button here, and then I can drag and drop that JSON file here. So I'll come back here, and then I will just drag this here. That's it. So I get this warning. I hit the continue. Uh, that's it. So we now have this JSON file imported into this page. The import is done here, so we can just scroll down to find this JSON file. So it says YouTube. So it's the last one here. So I will just literally insert this into my page. Just like that, we can see that we have a YouTube studio already embedded into my WordPress website. And I think this is good. This can take some time depending on how heavy the files you are trying to import. So if you don't have good server resources, if you are using shared hosting like I'm using right now, sometimes it can be slow, sometimes it can be fast. So in case you see that this is stalling, you should understand why and you should just let the process uh, finish up. So let's open this up and let's see. So you can see here, this is exactly what it looks like. This is not a perfect job here, so we can see some alignment issues here. It is good so far. Uh, this is YouTube Studio already here. We can readjust this to edit this to suit our style in Elementor, and that's the beauty about it. This is Elementor here. This can be redesigned. Uh, if you have a little bit of error, so you can see some of the things here. Uh, in case you don't like this, another thing you can do is for you to delete this and redo it sometimes. You, when you do this, you can have a little bit of all these errors here. Yeah, you will not get perfect job. But if you delete it, redo it, you might just get a perfect clone. So it might. I'm not guaranteeing you get 100% every time. So sometimes you have this kind of glitches here and there. So these things are expected. You should expect uh, this once in a while. You might not get the 100% clone job, but if you get 90%, I think that's good enough. So you can redesign this in Elementor. You can design this in Elementor. You can also redesign this in Figma to be able to adjust the design to get a perfect clone. And that's the good thing about it is that Elementor is super simple to use to design pages. And also Figma as well is super simple and easy. But you get the idea. These are the two fantastic plugins with Figma that can help you just clone from any random website to Figma and then from Figma to WordPress. So that's it. You can give this a try and see how this works for you. Let me know your experience in the comment section. I uh, will be looking out for them. If this plugin is able to help you clone inner pages and backend pages of your website. So that's my time. Thank you for watching. If you get value for your time, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more tutorials like this, ensure you subscribe. 
so that you don't miss out and also turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on further tutorials like this from me i'll see you in those tutorials until then it's time